What's up, everybody? This is Dan from the Fundamentals with yet another unboxing. This time we are going to space. Thanks to AEG with Scorpius Freighter from David Short and Matthew Dunstan on the cover, which we can see a distressed spaceman. A spaceman moving something onto the spaceman ship. And a couple futuristic looking people, one of which has some very cool dreadlocks, having a chat. That man looks very angry. Recruit crew. Customize ships. Smuggle goods. What else do you need in life? I have seen this game described as kind of like if Firefly were a board game. Of course, there is a Firefly board game. Let's not get into that. This is Scorpius Freighter. Very cool. Sci-fi kind of a... 90s sci-fi kind of logo very cool ship of course from AEG hefty box it's been almost it's been almost a hundred years since the Scorpius system was settled over over the decades the government has taken control of everything tens of billions of servants live in Scorpius with no hope of advancement no hope of escape except that not everyone in the government Toes the line. Some still believe in freedom. And if you bold freighter captains use the system against itself, handling their sanctioned job duties, as unsanctioned job duties, sanctioned, as well as a lot of extracurricular activities like smuggling restricted medicines, passing censored information, and facilitating transactions below the government radar, they are fueling the revolution, and the revolution is coming. Recruit crew from the back alley. Brute. To the elite educated, they are the best at what they do. Customize ships, outfit your standard sanctioned freighter with hidden holds and an upgraded cockpit. Smuggle goods, conduct illegal transactions while dodging the authority has. Contains one game board, three motherships, four freight and freighter boards, 28 crew cards, 132 tiles, 100 wooden cubes, and a rule book. Two to four players, 14, ages 14 and up, 45 to 60 minute playing time, not to three, Sad Onions, circa 2018 AEG, from whom this copy has been so graciously sent for me to parade in front of you. So, the look, it's the rule book. It looks like the cover, but it's big. Very cool art, though. Very spacey. Oh, this guy's big. I'm a lizard man. I love this. This game is entirely about undermining the government. What else do you need in life? I mean, really. Undermining the government is like half of, half of my goals in life. There is a lady with a light eye patch. There's a purple emo. And business, uh, business former MODOK. So that's kind of fun. You got gun heads. There is Frog Zarya and um, Cylinder Green Robot. I assume he's a robot. So we can see the sort of card layout. A lot of addendums, a lot of clarifications. There's a dinosaur man. He looks terrifying. On the back, we have Le Budget Wolverine. I'm sure he's very tiny. And a cool spaceship. So, what do we got? We got cardboard. My god, do we have cardboard to punch out. What do we got? Nanobots. Auto loaders. Docking bay. Fusion drives. Beacons. Dispensaries. Ho ho. Cockpits. Ho ho. Side deals. Contracts. Security vaults. Cockpit. These are things that go on a ship. Hidden compartments. Side deals. Contracts. Also kind of a cowboy bebop feel, too. Supercomputers, storage modules, drug depository. Don't get that mixed up with the drug depository. Very different uh, smuggling. Cryo chambers, storage modules, medical bays. Very nice. Hey, look, a scorpion. I think that's the play with marker. Payload annex, drones, power cells, stashes, transformers, robots in disguise, reserves. Drones, mech garage, robotic arms, scaffolding. Nice. And then these are the motherships, I believe. Oh, oh, 
Oh, baby. Okay. So let me explain why I just did that. So these are very nice. <laughs> very thickly made. This is the A747. We also have the AQR61 uh, Azuma. And the AXD5X Durga. And the AD47 Towel Bar. Oh, so they've all kind of got a uh, Indian theme. So, the thing I love about this is that A, the squares on the side, things fit in. But also, look at that. It, it, it's slightly recessed so that when you put a piece on it, it doesn't move. It doesn't move. You jostle the tape. I mean, it will plop out, but I mean, I love that. I love when games have slotted things like this because it's such a pain in the butt. When you have a heavy player board, heavy game, and you're piling crap onto it, that stuff just moves constantly. So that is awesome. 20 to 50 points. Ooh, they're double-sided. No, they're not. They are. Because this is the ST47 tall bar. So you got options. The slots are for navigator, co-pilot, pilot, and then kind Side deals contract active. Cool. Very, very cool. And then you can see up top here, AG does so good with their things. You can put in those uh, punched out blocks that you got. The board. Let us see if we can get the board out without causing too much of a commotion. We can because it's small. Hot damn. So yeah, on this board you can see different planets. It's kind of a Martian-like one. There's a city, there's like a guardian dude, there's like a sand, lay budget sand crawler. It's like an ice planet, there's some mining flying around. Guys, there's a ship. Yeah. And a big purple planet, it's kind of a Coruscant or a Narshada or a Omega. It's dark, it's seedy. It's neon. So these are the cities, the planets you're kind of navigating through. And there's also cubes. We've seen cubes before. We like cubes, especially when they're wooden cubes. Now more interesting are these ships. Let's look at some ships. So they are all the same. That's unfortunate. They are really nice though. Very chunky. Very well made, resin, um, very detailed for what they are. Oh, oh my god, okay, so another cool thing I just realized they do. So let's get some cube, let's get a cube out. I mean, in different colors, shit, pink. So this is cool. Oh gosh, this game is so cool. I haven't even played it yet. I haven't even played it. Who knows what the gameplay is like? I'm just looking at it. Look, here's my mothership. Isn't that cool? It carries the cubes around. It carries the... Oh. It carries the cubes around. How cool is that? That is cool. That is fun. Integrating the design. We love to see it, folks. We really do. So good. So good. This is, oh, so good. I love well-made, well-thought-out components. Just such a excellent design all around from a physical standpoint. Nobody said this to me. I'm surprised no one's talking about it much, but, you know. So many damn games out there. So little time. And 2018 was a while ago. Then we have our characters. These are characters that you can hire for your crew. And it, you might have seen some of them already. These are... They do the different things we saw, the pilot, co-pilot, navigator. We have Doreen. They have abilities. Doreen. Who's kind of, who's, oh, she's Frog Zarya. Vic, who kind of looks like Pendulet. IR, who is like some kind of raver chick with like robots. Micah Connor. Oh, fun, I like his epaulets. E.K. So she looks kind of like Hordak, but like Lady Hordak. 3.14, so it's Pi Man. 
Pie Man. Here comes Pie Man. He's a lizard. Dan C. So it's like Dan C, but his name is C. You get it? He's a space Gerard way. Tyus? Tyus? I don't know. He's a smart shark, though. Oh, yeah, I'm a shark. I'm a shark. Oof. Oof. Or is it Maroof? I don't know. But he's a goatman. Everyone likes a goatman. The goatman gives you gears at plus two hands. So, remember that now. Maroof. Oxus. Space dwarf. Bot. B-O-T. It's a robot. It's a cute robot. Annabelle. Oh my god. God, that is a terrifying monster. Terrifying monster. Mag is Blue Odin. He blew himself. Raph, oh, oof, that makes me uncomfortable. Raph is a bird, ferret, beard, Furby. I don't, I don't like him. Trin is Rick Rude. It's Space Rick Rude, though, so that's kind of, that's nice. Og. Mike, Lou, and Og on the island. He's a big, like, elemental cyclops. Das. That's what? That's my what? Brielle. She's got stripy hair. He looks like a zigzagoon. That's Escher. He's the tube robot from earlier. Padlock. He doesn't have a mouth. He looks like Darth Malak. And a big old cape. Raven. That's so Raven. He's blue. Coda, minus one star for each empty freighter space. So he's like a he's like a, a little vermin. And Skitty, she's the uh, eye patch lady from earlier. I like her design. She got the skunk hair. The Tills, he's like a big Y. He is a cube. That is a cubish man. Kaya Lynn, that looks like a superheroine. That looks like Deathstroke, but Russian. Tommy, hi, I'm Tommy. I'm a bird dinosaur with feathers. Abby, Abby's shaped like a cylinder. Abby's weird looking. Ooh, I like Sophia. I am into Sophia. She is big, she's scary, she has a really bad case of pink eye. And we're back to Doreen again. They just live down there. Isn't that fun? So, that is Scorpius Freighter. Not... You know, it's got a lot of pieces. Not as many as you'd expect. A lot of these space games will have a lot of different um, things. But look at the book at the one more thing. Look, it tells you what goes where. Even tells you the scorpion thing goes. That's best inserts. Like honestly, they tell you how to do it. So this is Scorpion Trader from AEG. Goes for reg. You know, it's forty or fifty bucks. Uh, it's been out for a couple years, so it's a little cheaper than it would be when it launched. I'll have links down below, uh, but definitely go check it out. Uh, I'll have a full review uh, as soon as I get a chance to play it, which is hard for you know pandemic reasons, but as soon as I can. Um, but I'm already excited based just on the components, you know, strong components. Sometimes they cover for a bad game, but usually if they care enough about the components, they care enough about making a good game. We'll find that out. And until then, happy gaming.